Paul, I know that this makes your blood boil, the Tom Perkins comments last night. I know this because, you know, I'm up at all hours of the night now with an infant, um, and I sure. see everything that happens during the night East Coast time. And I saw a tweet that you forwarded. It was a picture of a homeless man a block away from where the war on the 1% event was going down. Uh, you reacted viscerally. Right. I saw that tweet. Uh, that, that journalist was there covering the speech, and I saw I was following it on his on his Twitter feed. And you know, uh, look, Jesus said the poor will always be with us. It's obviously not the fault of the rich. We uh, and I think most Americans want to do more to lift people up. But it is ironic that just two blocks away from this man clearly struggling and suffering, there was a billionaire whining, whining that he's being picked on. I mean, when did the wealthy become such wimps? Quit whining, Mr. Perkins. Pay your fair share of taxes, which is, oh, what, 39.6% if he's actually paying the top marginal rate? 39.6, really? That's a war? Give me a break. Well, that's interesting, um, Ryan, because, of course, in many locales in this country, it's 39.6 plus your state, plus your local, plus your capital plus gains. Your the numbers actually, get, they actually else, yeah. get up to 60 plus percent. Yeah, certainly in California, yes. It, 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 right. Now, here's the question, though. Are uh, wealthy Americans unjustly vilified? I mean, this comment from Tom Perkins, you don't get to vote if you don't pay a dollar in taxes. That is... I mean, he said he meant it to be outrageous, but he said these kinds of things several times. I think it's safe to say he pretty much believes it. You know what I would love to see, Aaron? I would love to see a world in which we pay as much attention to failed public sector institutions, like public schools that are both among the most expensive in the world, in the developed world, and also some of the most mediocre. I would love for us to pay some attention to a criminal justice system that wastes mm -hmm. huge amounts of money putting people behind bars instead of whatever the hell some old rich white guy has to say. Let's focus on public institutions failing people, not because they don't have enough money, I, but because they're run by bozos. You know what? It's an interesting point. It's a smart point. I give you credit for you didn't like what he said, so you changed the topic a little bit but I mean, all right I mean just and I love Paul let me ask you this though because Tom Perkins is, is is doubling down right the wealthy are persecuted but let me ask you this because when you talk about paying more taxes according to the tax foundation the top one percent pay more in taxes than the entire bottom 90 percent and in fact in 1980 the rich paid 19 percent of taxes in the United States they now pay 35 percent when you look at it that way and I know you can slice these numbers a lot of different ways but Paul that sounds like they're certainly paying more than their fair share, looking at it that way. It's oh, just one not. set of numbers. They're, I think they should pay their fair share, and I think people now have agreed, even many Republicans went along with the top marginal rate at 39.6, which is what they paid under President Clinton, which, of course, he, we, we had a Marxist paradise under Bill Clinton with 23 million jobs and more billionaires created than under Ronald Reagan or any other presidency. Uh, it's all just whining. They should pay their fair share, but the notion that Mr. But, Perkins but what raises... But fair? Perhaps this is a Tony... really easy word to throw out there. Right. But what the heck is it? Because it well, sounds to me off, when people use that word, they're saying it should be well, more. It, it, and I'm just saying, if they're already paying more than the bottom 90 percent, how not. much more, that's, Paul? That's income taxes. You know, it's just like saying cigarette smokers pay all the cigarette taxes. Well, yeah. In, people with high incomes pay higher income taxes. Poor people pay sales taxes, excise right, those taxes. Are regressive. They pay property taxes but, and gasoline taxes. And, and working people and poor people, as we have discussed, are who actually fund this government in this country. There's nothing. I, nobody well, wants to demonize rich people. Nobody does. Well, actually, we admire because, success. But I will not allow this man to say he should have a million votes when, say, the, uh, there's a staff sergeant in the Army who recently was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. He probably makes about 30 grand a year. And he should be effectively like shut out of right. voting, so that this this Mr. Perkins Paul gentleman, is because he's rich, pretty can, big can and pretty important, him. which is that thanks to President Reagan and President Clinton and a variety of other folks, uh, actually a lot of poor people, for very good and sensible reasons, actually pay negative taxes because of things like the earned income tax credit. A lot of people are getting tax refunds that help them lead decent lives. That's a good thing, but it's also true that the picture about taxes is a lot more complicated. And the truth is that the taxes now are actually higher than they were during the Clinton era for a variety of reasons, partly. Because we're talking about investment taxes. We're talking about a wide range of other Obamacare taxes Obamacare. as well. So look, it's a well, more complicated picture than that. It's not quite that simple. And the thing is, when we say fairness, it's always more. And we never ask, is government spending the money as well as possible? We're trying to pit the rich against the middle class, mm -hmm. against the poor, rather than ask the real question, which is how well is this money actually being right, spent what, in practice? Let me